Hello everyone, welcome to another figure review. Today I'll be reviewing Ernst Kalt, a Wehrmacht pioneer part of the 34th Infantry Division serving on the Eastern Front in 1944. Here's a shot of the front of the box, and here's a shot of the back of the box. As you can see, this figure was released in 2005, which means I'm afraid some of the leather equipment has sadly deteriorated, which I will show you shortly. Here's a different photo of him on the top of the box. And here's a look of the inside of the box with all the equipment and Ernst himself. And here he is with all his equipment out. Here is the man himself. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the shoulder bots onto the uniform. But first, let's remove the uniform from the figure. And here's the uniform with the two shoulder bots. First thing you need to do is to remove these two screws at the top shoulder of the uniform. As you can see, this is one screw and this is another. So just unscrew them. Yeah, there's one, not forgetting the other, and just pull it out, sorry, unscrew it out, okay, and now as you can see, the two screws are gone. Next, what I like to use is the bayonet it comes with, because it's the perfect size. Or you can use a toothpick or anything slender and sharp like this. And first we're gonna kind of poke the hole and make it a bit wider. Yeah. So this is what I do is give it a good spin. And the other, this is to loosen it for later. Okay. And next, you're gonna get the first shoulder bit. Excuse me. You're gonna get the first shoulder tab okay try and kind of squeeze it in there like so and if you can't really push it through what I like to use is once again the bayonet very gently just poke the hole ah and voila and next you're gonna fold it downwards like this okay and get the screw from just now poke it in the hole Make sure they are the two holes are aligned. Okay, like so. And put it back into the hole. Then find make sure it juts out of the other side. Don't worry, it's very it's quite tough. It won't break. That I know of. Aha! And there we go. And unscrew it. Uh, excuse me, screw it back. Oh, excuse me. And do the same for the other. Once again, make sure it's facing the right way. Okay, slot it in. And poke it through. And voila, this is what it should look like on the inside and on the outside. Here's the figure with his winter pants on. Here are the weapons the figure comes with. He comes with a Car 98 rifle with six extra clips, a Luger with two extra magazines and holster, two stick grenades, and a Car 98 bayonet with sheath. Sadly, as you can see, the leather on the sheath has already deteriorated due to time. 
Here is the pioneer equipment he comes with. First we have a shovel, some wire cutters, a saw, very nice rust detail I must say, some hooks, igniters, chargers, uh, I'm not sure what this is called, I assume plunger, uh, more chargers, some igniting cable, uh, some mine warning flags, uh, the actual mines and I'm not actually sure what this is sadly as you can see most of the leather equipment has started to flake and I don't think I'll be able to use them with the figure which is a real shame but for the sake of the video I'm going to show them anyway and here is his individual equipment standard bell Y straps engineer pouches engineer backpack bread bag with canteen and mess tin helmet and I must say the highlight of the figure a very nice gas mask and here's the figure fully assembled and ready let's start with the head as you can see beautiful brown helmet and winter gas mask you don't get many of those these Y straps, which I had to replace because his was flaky. Rifle, uh, two stick grenades, engineer pouches, uh, Luger holster, and his mines, his pants, and as you can see, I put his bayonet, oops, excuse me, in his boots because the sheath was kind of flaky also, and the rest of his equipment. I forgot to mention he comes with a very nice piece of uh, barbed wire which you can display All in all is a great pioneer figure and definitely one for your collection